today's video is going to be about colored contacts. I've had a lot, a lot of questions about my contacts, where I get them, how to use them, how to get them off because some are like scared that they're gonna escape behind their eyes and everything. Every single live stream I get these types of questions, so I thought I would make another video even though I made two before. So let's get into it. But before that, you know, gotta gotta have some coffee, right? Yes, I am shamefully flexing some merch here because it is awesome. The donkey ass and me and Pikachu, everyone from Twitch know what that is about and that's all I'm going to say about that. You can see that in the link below. Onwards, because we all know you guys want to see the context. I'm not going to sit here talking forever. We can do the talking at the end so you don't have to scroll through all of that. All right, let's start with the first, first case which is totally, totally green, as you can see. They come in um, this type of little bag. I have like a storage of many, many, many different ones because I use them all the time. Um, and then I save them up and I prepare them because you should never put them on right away. However, I did save up uh, this to show you guys uh, how to... They, it comes in a glass container, right? With a metal metal rim around here and you see you get a package on how to take that off however be very careful because you can cut your hands on it if you're not careful i have many many times it also shows you what to look for when you put on the contacts it's really important to see that it's curved that way and that it does not look like that because that will not be comfortable on your eyes and there's also a little bit of information about this is really neat if you're new to color contacts however be very careful make sure that your eyes are are capable to have color contacts or any type of contacts really as long as you can use contacts it should be fine i use contacts from as you can see does it say here yes pinkyparadise.com this is not a sponsored video because I've already done the sponsored video. This is basically just me showing off the context that I have. I said I wasn't gonna talk and yet I'm still talking. So let's get on some context. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I've been so excited about these contacts. I was gonna wait with these till the end, but now I see them and I can't deal. These are miniature sclera contacts, which is, those are contacts that are harder to put on than normal contacts, and they are a lot, a lot bigger. If you've seen my previous colored contact videos, you've seen that I tried to put on some sclera contacts, and that failed massively. However, these are a little smaller. I have never tried to put them on, so let's hope I won't need a mirror this time, because last time I had to do this off camera, and I'd rather not. So let's see. I put my down. Look to the side, put it on, and then I look back to make it stick. Oh my god above, look at this. How freaking adorable is this? I've been so excited about this, you guys. I've, I've ordered like a haul of, of contacts, but honestly, these were the only ones I was like, I need them in my life right now, and... I've also ordered a pair of um, of uh, ghoul contacts. If you know, if you guys are familiar with Tokyo Ghoul, the contacts that Ken Kaneki kind of would use. Let's see. Don't they look insanely awesome? Look at them! Oh my god! I am gagging for how cool these are. Look at how huge my pupils look. Like it gives you an instant anime vibe. If you're new to the channel, I'm a big, big anime fan. I love anime. I love anything anime related. And these give me everything, everything that I need. Also, they are not as, I'm gonna show you guys full on scleral contacts at the end of the video, complete black scleral contacts. Then you can see the difference. These are not that uncomfortable to put on, not uncomfortable to wear. The sclera contacts are not that great, but they look amazing and I use them for cosplay. 
look at these close up you guys look at them I can't deal I can't deal with how cute they are oh my god but I have seven more contacts to show you guys so I'm gonna I'm gonna obsess over these later and I'm gonna make some TikToks with these for sure because my god all right how to take them off is basically you look away pull it and then pinch and voila it's out simple as that and then uh, no they don't tend to like roll back you guys on <laughs> you were worried about them rolling back on the side of your head that doesn't really happen unless <laughs> You sleep with very dry contacts. You should never sleep. There are some contacts you can sleep with. I just, I would never recommend it. But, you know, I'm, I'm a nurse. I'm not an eye doctor. But still, like, be careful. The next one I'm going to show off are some that you might recognize from Naruto. If you are a fellow Naruto fan, you will recognize these. These are Sharingans. They are red with black dots on them for those that are not fellow Naruto fans and uh, they look a little bit like these I'll put these on for you as well but eventually I am going to just snap them on so you don't have to see the whole process of each one of them down look away look back and then I just wanted to show that you know I can actually put them on but the sclera ones are harder I am going to try to put the full sclera ones on, on camera as well. However, they are difficult. I haven't managed to do that on camera before. I put them on several times after that, but down, look away, look back, and roll. And there you go. Then you got the shutting. They are really cool. They are a little bit like messed up on my green screen. However, I wanted to use a green screen because it just, it just, it's Halloween, you know. I wanted a Halloween vibe. It's soon Halloween, anyway. And I thought it was fitting with a new video like this on Halloween. But I do love these contacts. They just give a spooky vibe without being too creepy. Maybe, but well, I'm a cosplayer, so I find nothing creepy, but yeah, let's see. All right, all right. So that's the showering guns. I'm gonna change to the next one. And my also oh ever known Hinata contacts. I'm a lot known for my Hinata cosplays. That's what started my journey on a lot of social media. That in my Outlast playthrough, the first one, you know, where I threw up and ripped down my green screen. But uh, but yes, these are what I've been using for my Hinata cosplay. However, I have recently purchased and actually got them today, the more canon looking ones, which are basically the same, but they're purple. Her eyes are purple, but that hasn't been available in Pinky Paradise until now. I also have these in, uh, in blue, as I also cosplay Eno and Gara. But these are also great for like zombie cosplays or any spooky things you might want to use for, for Halloween. However, be advised when you use this, you guys, they reduce your eyesight a lot. And especially with me, I have my huge Elgato screen lights and I got flashing lights all on me when I do videos and when I live stream. So when you have lights on, it can reduce your eyesight as much as 70%. I think it says 60% on the, on the page. But however, the stronger the lights are on you, the less you can see. So... <laughs> People in my Twitch community knows that it's a nightmare to do live streams with these on. So I hate these and I love these. And I'm gonna bring you guys the next one. And these are among my favorites. These give you the big, you know, of course, anime eyes. I love, love. I love that when they give you basically just these, these huge eyes. It makes you look like such a kawaii, kawaii anime girl and I love it. Or it can just give you, you know, big eyes which can you be used for horror cosplays as well. Obviously I bought these for my Tsunade when I started to cosplay her. But now I use it like I always change my eye color in the live stream. So these are just, just an absolute vibe for me. And they just change your outlook so much from like... Going from one color to the next, like, these next ones are yellow. 
and I'm gonna show you guys how to take these off again just to remind you how easy it is. Just look away, pull to the side, pinch, and then it's off. Like, it's so, so simple. And look at the difference of my eyes. Like, I love my, I don't mind my eyes, but how cool is it to be able to change like that? And I need, I need contacts to see anyway. There you go. Super easy. Super, super, super easy. The yellow ones are the ones I use for my Hisoka cosplay. And I also love to use this as a combination. I love to do different looking eye contacts. One of my favorite combination is one gray and one yellow. I use that all the time when I stream and I'll show you guys what that will look like. I'm gonna remove one of these and then I'm gonna show you. Alright, let's find my gray ones. These are two of my favorite colors to do a combination of when I change up the colors. If you see a lot of my other streams and stuff like that, you can see I can mix between blue and purple. I can mix between all sorts of colors. But these two, I love. It looks so cool. It's not the crazy colors. They're more natural. This is more natural than this one, obviously. But I just, I just love how it looks. It feels... I don't know, it looks natural and crazy at the same time. I don't know what, how to put it. Probably become a cosplayer, that's probably the only reason I think it looks natural. But yeah, I love this combination and there are two more that I'm gonna try. The pink ones and the demon ones. First of all, I'm gonna show you a completely gray look. There you go. It's a complete gray look like if you want just gray eyes. And yes, I get sniffy like when I switch between eight contact lenses, I tend to get sniffy. I'm not sick, I'm just sniffy. But I do use these all the time and I just find them so stunning, these eyes. Everyone seems to think that they're blue in live streams, but they are still steel silver gray. I think they're so pretty. Now, pink. The pink ones are really a mix between purple and pink, if you see close. They are half pink and half purple. They are a lot more vibrant in real life than on my green screen. I'm aware that I am killing the colors a little bit by using the green screen. I just felt like I needed a spooky vibe. But I still feel like I can show you guys kind of what they look like on. And now, last but not least, the crazy, the insane, the scleral contacts. I'm going to try to take them on, on camera. But I'm probably going to fail because it's really, really difficult, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to take these off first. All right, I'm just going to say I'm low-key nervous now because these are really, really, really rough to put on. They're huge, like massive, and you can't put them on in a normal way. You have to do it really weirdly and... I'll try to show you, but I'm, go I'm going to focus on just trying to get it on, so you'll have to just watch what I'm doing, and hopefully it'll work. But pull down, squeeze it together, Let's see. push up, and then basically shove it up in your eye while you take it down. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I did it! God damn it, I mean, I, I knew that, like, <laughs> eh, no problem no problem <laughs> all right so the, the technique behind taking on scleral contacts is basically for me how i figured out i needed to do it was because they're they're like so huge right like um you can see here so what i need to do is pinch them to a more bended shape and you have to like scroll it back on the back side of your eye because it's so huge like it's gonna go on the bottom of your of your eye here if you do not and while you do this so let's see i'm gonna try to show it better on camera now let's see There we go, fuck yeah! Alright, that's why I say this is really freaking difficult. 
I did not manage to do this on the first try on camera, that's for sure. And it took me a while to realize that I needed to bend it, take the eye down and then push it up at the same time as I took the lower lid down. And then you have to kind of force it down. It's difficult. I do not recommend anyone using these type of contacts unless you're very, very confident in using contacts. I've done it for years. I'm a cosplayer. I'm also a nurse. I know a little bit about being careful. And one other thing, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, right? These long nails, I'm doing Yara the Demon Goddess, okay? And she needs nails. So do not have long nails when you do contacts. I know a lot of you guys are gonna do it, but like it, it does say in the book as well. So do as I say, not as I do, right? Go look at them. And yes, I do see perfectly clear with them. They are open in the middle, can you see? Like, in the middle, there's nothing. Like, obviously, our eyes are black in the middle as well. So, they don't need to cover anything there. So, I, I have prescription in them. I see better with these than without. They do cover my whole eye. Look here. Look here. So, like, you can see it all the way down. All the way up. Do not recommend unless you are comfortable wearing contacts. However, they are awesome. They are quite expensive. I had a previous video with these because these were actually given to me by Pinky Paradise. But um, but yes, I think there are some sale of them now. And by the way, if you want a discount code, uh, discount code on Pinky Paradise, use Camlay underscore. I kind of actually like my creator code. My creator code and my discount code. Uh, it's the same, is it not? No, wait. I'll put the code right up here for you guys so you can use it. Use it or not, doesn't really matter to me, but it gives you 10% off, so, you know, why not? But, um, make sure that you guys are safe when you use them. Please read this to you guys. Again, it does show you pretty nice how to do it and what to watch out for it is really 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 neat and it's already if you order from pinkyparadise.com i know they always give you this i don't know about other pages but they always give you this and the, they are my go-to colored contacts so i hope this this video has helped you guys little tip like obviously when you take them on down look away and then place it and then look back because when you look back is when the contact kind of fastens on your eye it like it's the colored part of your eye that the contacts kind of like <laughs> onto i know gross right but still so and then at the same time would you take would you take these these are super easy to take off by the way all you gotta do is like pinch them out you wouldn't see it. it's actually kind of gross but yeah I'll, I'll show you guys like these are super easy uh, yeah, all you gotta do is pinch it out like Normally it would be nice if you just looked, you know, looked down and then but this you just have to pinch out It's super easy and yes, I do Obviously after changing my contacts for like eight times my eyes look a little red right now and these contacts are a little rough on your eyes, so be safe test first test normal contacts first and um and yeah, let me know which contacts you thought were coolest. My personal favorite was the first ones. That's the mini sclera. That's the big difference about these and the mini sclera. You know what? You know what? Let me let me put on one of each. One of each to see the difference. To see the size difference. <laughs> okay, there's officially no makeup <laughs> left on that side of the, the face. But anyway. Um... Here you can see the main difference, like, this doesn't cover all of your eye, and it's not like super, it, it's just as smooth as a normal contact, it's just a lot bigger and it gives you that animated look. It's harder to put on than normal contacts, but it's, it's a lot easier than this one. So this is a mini sclera, that's what it looks like, and this is a normal sclera, so you'll see. And yeah. My eyes are giving me the old clear, take shit out of my eyes and let me rest. So I'm planning to make a lot of, 
of TikToks tomorrow and live stream tomorrow on Twitch and stuff. So I, I need to, I need my eyes to work. So I'm going to cut this video here now. I showed you guys everything that I wanted to do and uh, which one were your favorites? These are definitely mine. Tell me if you're planning to use any contacts on Halloween, what you're going to cosplay as and if you're used to doing contacts and have you tried these? Have you tried the sclera? Was my tip helpful? I hope so, because I was struggling a lot with using sclera contact. Why can't I talk? Sclera, 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 sclera contacts myself. And yeah, I thought I would show you guys my link tree at the end where you can see all my other stuff. So give it a look here. I'll put it down below. My link tree is right here. I'll put it in front of my camera. Where you can don't mind about that one we can see the merch here i have a lot of different merch designs and um my newest one that i showed you guys with the with the thicket shoe the mug i showed you was this one we have a lot of different different looks of that which is artwork made by polymune for me and I, this was a donkey ass sweater that i'm wearing right now and i just have a lot of different stuff of all my different cosplays no pressure, you know, it's there if you're curious. And my Twitch, which is where I stream. Yeah, that's my cringy face. And uh, a lot of if you want to see some of the different games that I play, I played a lot. It's a lot of spoopy games this month and we're going to continue. Dear help me God, eventually with this. And I am going to do other games as well. And my Instagram is where you'll see... You'll see different photo shoots, and uh, this is one of my most popular cosplays here. You guys have probably seen on the channel. And yeah, like I do, I do a lot of different things that you won't see uh, that much here. On, and this is this is my this is coming more of her. This is Yara the Demon Goddess, you guys. If you search her up on my channel, this is my original character. I write her backstory. I also cosplay her and I voice act her on my YouTube here. So search up Yara the Demon Goddess and uh, maybe you'll like what you see. And of course, this is going to be Christmas merch eventually. I'm going to turn this into Christmas merch because I promised it last year. Yeah, and I also forgot to mention, obviously, the TikTok. Where you can also find different sections about Yara and each character you might want to see. And... Yeah. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope some of the tips helped out. If not, you got to see some cool contacts. And until next time, stay kawaii. Bye. <laughs>